Hey guys, Ivan here, and we are one week out of Mr. Olympia 2024, and we got some, well, I would put it disturbing news. I mean, I don't know if there is any truth to this, but when there is smoke, there is fire, usually. So, basically, apparently, Nick Walker might be out of the Mr. Olympia 2024. Why? How? Let me show you. Ey, und dann dieses runde Bein. Mm. Ah, das schaut Bombe aus. Und Nick ist so gut wie sicher raus. Ja, wie gesagt, sogar, er hat gesagt, sogar Geiz ist der Reno was. Also, und wenn es Geiz ist der Reno was, dann ist... Wir werden es sehen. Also auch wenn er sagt, er hat jetzt 280 und eigentlich hat er 255, 260, dann... Wird es knapp. Ja. All right, so I don't know how many of you guys actually speak German. If you do, you can confirm this uh, down below in the comment section. I had the German in elementary school and in my high school as well. I understand some of it. I don't speak it really. But basically what these guys are saying here is uh, Stefan Kinzel actually first says that uh, Nick Walker might be out and that Martin Fitzwater knows something about that and Guy Sister Nino also knows something about it. I mean, bodybuilding community is a very tight-knit community. People are speaking, people are gossiping. It's not like uh, these things can really stay a secret for too long. So, apparently, it got to these guys. So, David Hoffman basically said that Nick might be out. Uh, Stefan also said that he heard something about that from Martin and from Guy Sternino. And then right here, the cameraman also says that Nick is 280 right now, uh, not his usual 250, 260, uh, where he's usually acted one week out of a show. So apparently, for some reason, Nick is not losing weight. And you guys know that Nick is not posting anything on social media. We have nothing from him. Complete radio silence. We only got this photo. This is the most recent photo from like 10 days ago. And I mean, you can't really get anything from this, man. Like you can see his face. I mean, right here, it doesn't look like a slim, like a dieting face. Uh, you can see his calves, but he has varicose veins. They're always super vascular. Like, you can see his forearms, but, like, you can't conclude anything from that. Overall, he looks massive. I do believe he's 280. Now, could this be a good thing that maybe he's, like, 280, but shredded? That he actually gained, like, 20 pounds of muscle between New York and Mr. Olympia? I mean, no, no, unless he's, like, the only person in the history of the world with some crazy gene that just started working now when he gained 20 pounds of muscle. I mean, it would be a phenomenon. I don't think that's what's happening. I don't know why is he not losing weight, but it happens. You know, it happens to bodybuilders sometimes. I've experienced this, like, with some of my clients, especially women, not so much with men, but, like, with women, sometimes it happens that no matter what you do, no matter how deep the caloric deficit is, no matter what they take as far as fat burners and so on, nothing happens. Body just keeps on holding to the weight, to the water, and, and to fat, and there is nothing you can do, really, and usually it's some kind of health condition. You know, maybe he's like having some kidney issues and he's holding a lot of water. Maybe it's a thyroid issue. Who the hell knows? It's all just speculation at this point. I have no idea why this could be happening or even if this is 100% true. But, you know, since Stefan Kinzel is saying this and David Hoffman, Rap One, is usually a very reliable source of information. Like, those guys are not gonna just gossip and say stupid stuff that makes no sense. If they're saying this, there is some truth to it for sure. And man, I would be so disappointed. I mean, I ha I had Nick Walker second at this year's Mr. Olympia, my prediction video. Uh, if he doesn't show up, then uh, Hardy will be in that top three, so all of you Hardy fans can relax. But it also means that uh, Martin Fitzwater might be in the top five, actually. But I would be so disappointed not to see Nick on that stage again. Man, I just wanted to see him against those guys. Now, if he's slightly off with conditioning, I'm pretty sure he's going to jump in and try and see how will he do if he's just bigger, not super conditioned. 
But if he is like completely off, like with horrible conditioning, I don't think he would compete. And you know, plays like tent. I mean, I, I also am very confused. I don't know why would this be the case. Like, why would Nick Walker not be able to lose the weight to get in condition? I mean, you can be sure that he's not cheating on his diet. Like maybe those women that I just mentioned, like, you know, beginners, not professional competitors, you know, sometimes it happens, they just want to eat and they cheat on the diet. But like at this level of a professional, like Nick is, in my opinion, probably the, 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 the biggest professional in the IBB, like in the past, I don't know how many years, like I haven't seen anybody this focused as him. So if that's what's happening, I don't think it's his fault. I don't think it's his coach's fault. I think the only explanation would be a health issue. But again, I don't know how accurate this is. I mean, we're one week out of Mr. Olympia. If this is the case, if he's actually going to pull out, he's probably going to announce it uh, soon. And that would kind of explain why he didn't uh, post anything. It's very much unlike Nick. Even though he said he wants to be mysterious and this and that, I was just still I was just still not sure about that. I was still doubting that. And you guys were like, even if he said he's going to be mysterious, that's it. Guys, guys, these guys, I know what they're like. You know, Nick is not like that. There is something more to it. I'm not sure if he's actually pulling out or if he's going to just show up with, with bad conditioning. But... There is something, Stefan is saying something, David Hoffman is saying something, the cameraman also heard something from Martin Fitzwater, from Guy Cisternino, there is most certainly something about this, you guys tell me, what do you think, uh, I guess very soon we'll find out what is the real truth. Alright, the very next thing is on the same channel, in the same video as well, it's Martin Fitzwater at one week out of the Mr. Olympia, Let's take a look at his conditioning at this point. And, you know, I'll be just honest. I mean, I don't think he's exactly shredded at one week out. I think this lighting here is just horrible as well. But I was kind of hoping to see, you know, some crazy level of graininess, crazy level of conditioning at this point. I'm not really seeing it in this video. You're going to see in a second in a different angle, different lighting. It's going to be different. But it's not like Martin is bringing some crazy new level of conditioning. But, but, he is one week out. I have no idea what kind of protocol these guys are doing. If you guys compete, you probably know that there are many protocols where you're sodium loading and water loading one week out. So you get bloated, you get uh, just watery. And then as the show approaches, you get better and better each day. And eventually you get dry and hard. You fill out. He's probably depleted as well here flat. So his skin is not as tight. But like conditioning, uh, body fat percent wise in, in the glutes and the hamstrings, you can see that he is lean. He's definitely not holding fat, right? So I think he's just watery and flat. And that's why here he doesn't look uh, super ripped and the lighting is just horrible. And usually in the back last part, he doesn't look uh, the, the, the sharpest. He actually got a feedback from Jim Mannion, I think, uh, to, to not round his back that much in this pose. And I don't think he really fixed that. Uh, as you can see, like, his, his waist is nice and tight. You know, abs are looking good. Legs are big and full. I think he may have added some more tissue to those legs. I think arms also might be looking slightly better. These are minor changes, guys. It, it hasn't been that long since the New York Pro. So, like, if he can be a couple of pounds heavier with the same conditioning, that will be a huge progress in such a short time. But, uh, yeah, conditioning-wise, you know, he has Stefan Kinzel in his corner. So, I'm pretty sure they're going to nail it. Like, he doesn't need to be nailing it today at seven weeks out. And here is my favorite part of this video, definitely looking much better. Uh, as far as his conditioning right here in this, in this lighting, it's definitely better, right? So they, they changed the position because they realized probably that the lighting in that, that spot is definitely worse. So here you can see even some, uh, some lines in the back as well. So yeah, basically Martin is bringing it. He's definitely going to be in shape. Now, if Nick Walker actually shows up in horrible condition... And Martin shows up in great condition, just a little bit bigger. Maybe he can take him out this time around. You know, uh, if he, if Nick is not much better than the New York Pro, he might be punished, right? More so than he was at the, at the New York Pro. And here is my actual favorite part of this video. Should I start analyzing uh, wellness and bikini girls, guys? What do you think about that? Maybe it would be refreshing for a change. My girlfriend, by the way, competes in bikini, so I know a few things about that as well.
Just kidding, you guys, we are not gonna do that. Uh, what we got next is Milos Sharchev uh, posting uh, this uh, bad news about Behru Stabani. We already pretty much knew, but at this point it's pretty much official. Uh, Behru Stabani did not uh, get the visa. So basically, he was not officially denied. You know, he still might get it but uh, he's just still pending and apparently he applied for the visa back in 2021 so for three years he's he's still waiting he didn't hear anything and uh, i guess behrus just decided to you know pull out i mean he's one week out even if he got a visa tomorrow like would he be even, would he even be able to to get the the, the the airplane ticket in time and get to the mr olympia stage and compete and look good and all that start a peak week now and hope for a miracle no no that's not gonna happen so he is definitely out i didn't have him in my prediction video because he pretty much knew i mean if he don't get it at this point he, he won't get it this year hopefully next year but this is just devastating i mean this guy, I think he would be top 6 for sure. I mean, actually, now, if Nick Walker is out, he could have been top 5 at a Mr. Olympia. I mean, you know, I can't see him beating Andrew Jack, Samson Dauda, Hadi Japan, and Derek Lansford. And Nick Walker, if he's 100% on, that's difficult. But as far as Hunter Labrada, Brandon Curry, Martin Fitzwater, Becker Stepani can take all these guys out. I'm pretty sure about that. But no, no, very unfortunately, it's not happening. And this sucks, man, like, uh, we have a couple of guys who won't be able to compete because of this issue, I mean, this year, it's Bekru Stabani and Nathan Diasha, and also Tony Burton is not doing it, but not because of the same reasons, so we have three guys who are qualified this year, but they're not gonna be competing, the list has uh, gotten shorter, we'll see if Nick Walker is actually gonna do it, and what he's gonna look like, but yeah, we got some not super, super nice news today. Whatever you guys think, uh, tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to show me some support, some love, you can buy a hostile supplements and use the code EVEN10 for a 10% discount. And if you guys are looking for a coach, for somebody who is very available and who is very affordable as well, you can hire me, just DM me on Instagram. There is a pretty big show happening today in Serbia and uh, here are some of my guys who are competing. I helped them with uh, putting their tan on last night and I am checking their conditioning in person, telling them what to eat, uh, how much to drink, uh, how much sodium, how much potassium, uh, this and that. You guys know how it works. But of course, you don't have to be a competitor. I coach a lot of lifestyle athletes as well. Uh, just DM me, guys. We can talk about it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up. See you soon, guys. All the best and bye-bye.